So in either scenario, and in a thousand other scenarios, are we just almost constantly reaching out for hope? I mean, when you're reaching out and asking for change when you don't have any money, or if you're reaching out for change because you don't know what you're going to do with your life because you need to change, whatever it is, right? Is it because we're really reaching out? Please give me a sign that there is a future for me. Yeah. I think so. I think yeah. it, it comes down to control. I think a lot of it's identity. I think it, what we do defines us, and, and success defines us, failure defines us, and we all put so much stock in in identity. And I think if you look at, you know, being being a believer, if you look at the garden, Adam and Eve, before there was sin in the world, Adam and Eve were completely found in God. There was no shame. There was no doubt. There was no guilt. There was no brokenness. It was completely found in Christ. There was completely found in God. It was completely wholeness. And I think since the fracture and the brokenness that we experience as humans, it's the toil for identity. It's the toil, the hope within that identity. Hope is, hope for us is free us from this world where we can't love love each other well. Free us from this world where no matter how many times I tell myself I I don't want to be selfish, I'm still selfish. Mm-hmm. Free me from that's how, that's I'm we're all looking for that I think because at the at the core of who we are we just we're desperate and we're helpless without something bigger. Yeah, my sense is I probably would have eaten the apple way before Adam did. Sure, <laughs> sure, we're weak. <laughs> yeah, we're that's definitely crazy. weak, and I think. That's the freeing thing about, I think, the gospel is if you look through Scripture, it's like God used all of these very weak, um, outcast individuals that didn't have it all figured out, that had awful past. I mean, look at Paul. He's like, Paul is one of the most important figures of the New Testament, and Paul was a murderer, and he he murdered Stephen. He, he persecuted Christians. He looked to destroy them, and God said, I'm going to use you for my glory, and God did use him for his glory. And so it gives hope to any person anywhere to be like there's no place that God can't reach there's no person that God cannot reach and that God doesn't want to reach 